Dead Things, hideous horror on how gargoyles work in progress. When is it going to frickin' end? I ask myself that a lot. I think I'm close. I've determined that I cannot run both motors off of a uh, single uh, computer power supply. Was hoping I could. Kind of figured I would, couldn't. Uh, so that's that. Um, so I can. I've got a. I've got a plan for that. Um, there was a lot more prepping to get them to the point where they can be covered up, uh, especially on the one that I did that little nick in. Uh, had to remeasure the lever arm, get it correct. Was finding I was I was getting a jog right around where that little nick that I made into the plastic was that I epoxied and um, I spent a lot of time studying that to try and find out where the problem was and it was in two places uh, I didn't have one of the, the crank arm there's a crank arm and then the lever that's attached to the crank arm and that was not long enough uh, so I rectified that and I was still getting this little jog in there and then what I figured is is this part here is just overextending and kind of this is kind of locking almost and so it has when it um, is returning to close it kind of has to get up and over that and that's what that little uh, jog thing was that was happening there so I think I'm at the point where I'm going to cover these up. So, first thing I got to do is build some legs, the back legs, then I will attach the plastic and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Right now, as you can see, I have got this basically wood. screwed along here that's going to give me a surface to uh, to uh, staple into hot glue to and uh, give me something to mount the body to all right it begins okay so what I'm going to do now is build the back legs this was my first attempt um, didn't work out well I think a lot of it had to do with this angle, so I redid the angle. Uh, incidentally, these pieces are 18 inches long. I'm anticipating 16 inches is what I need, so I'm giving myself a little bit of wiggle room. But uh, as you can see, I put these in a vise at an angle, and so when I actually get them on, I can, I don't know if you can see that, and see how I can kind of fit it at an angle. So that's where I am. I'm going to screw these in and then I believe I'm going to bend them forward. So wish me luck. Okay, so my plan is to build holes. My plan is to take this piece, put this in the vise heat up along that edge and then take it immediately over here and screw it in and then bend it to probably there probably that angle and I'll determine that as I'm uh, as I'm holding it there and then rinse and repeat on this side So that's the angle I'm looking for. Feel pretty good about the angle. Trying not to film my crowded garage. There you go. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. 
Uh, as you can see, I did run out. I was hoping to have a little uh, foot there, but uh, I can work with that. Second verse, like the first, except this verse is two inches longer. So maybe that way I'll have a foot. And I'm probably so anal that I'll go back and do these, but we'll see. Right, so I've done these legs. And you can tell that they're just a bit off. And actually, the one on the right, oop, that one there, is a half an inch taller than that one. Other than that, when I eyeball everything, the angles and everything are pretty similar. That's why it makes that leg look angles different than this one, because, well, it is. It's higher. Now, I'm going to leave that for two reasons. First, I'm lazy. But secondly, it's going to be off just enough that if somebody looks at it, it's not going to look right. It's not going to look even. It's going to look odd. We humans are always searching for balance in the eye. You know, we're always looking for that, that balance. And the fact that this is a little bit skewed is going to mess with people's head. I hope, I think, that's the theory behind it. Or we can just go with the first one. I'm lazy. Holy crap. I have a body applied. This thing may end after all. Okay, I'm continuing work on just one of the gargoyles. That's where we're at so far. And now I'm going to attach the back. So this one, for whatever reason, good, bad, or otherwise, I use Gorilla Glue and Staples to attach that one. To attach this piece, because it has to go along this line, I've opted to use hot glue and then I am going to tuck tape it. Tuck is that type of tape. I need to finish one. I need to show that it can be finished. That this can be done. Progress.